that's it. We've done it. We've finally gotten to this point. After all of this work, we are ready to apply the Renal makeup. So we're gonna start with some latex ear tips. And as you can see, these are pretty dingy looking. I've used them for multiple looks, so uh, don't mind that. I'm gonna be using Telesis Beta Bond Plus to apply them. Use some liquid latex to blend in the edges of the ears. You can absolutely do this makeup without a prosthetic and just do an illusion for the nose bridge. But since I put so much work into the bodysuit and the jewelry, I figured I might as well just go full bore and use a prosthetic. Foam latex piece is from Rubberware. Using the same I did for the ears, the Telesis Beta Bond Plus. So I'm first tacking down just this center area to line it up, and then I'm going to carefully tack the eye area down. Use latex to blend down the edges. We're gonna have to seal the prosthetic. So just gonna stipple Edabon Plus all over the whole piece. Okay, so it's all dry now. I'm gonna go ahead and powder it because I don't want any of my brushes sticking to that beta bond. I'm using Skin Illustrator Zero Color Powder. Okay, so if you watched the previous video for the bodysuit, you could probably guess what color I'm gonna use. We're gonna go in with that Skin Illustrator Mint Julep Concentrate. Now this, of course, can be applied by hand with a brush, but I'm just gonna go ahead and airbrush it. I'm gonna spatter some Mint Julep and some Skin Illustrator Teal. The freckling is just gonna give it more of a skin look than just being one flat color. Grab Skin Illustrator Complexion Palette. I'm gonna use a light mob for the under part of the nose. Using teal and some white eyeshadow to start to give a big eye illusion. Took some white eyeshadow and built up some of the highlight areas before going in with the markings. Just gonna rough out the eyes for now because I still have a lot of work to do and I just don't want my eyes to be watering and breaking that makeup down. Now let's take that Skin Illustrator DT blush and put it on the cheeks and across the nose. Also using the Skin Illustrator DT blush for inside of the ears. Now we're gonna go in with the teal and do the markings on the sides of the face. Creating soft wobbly stripes and then outlining them. I did a little contouring with the teal on the nose bridge and around the face and under the jawline. I'm not gonna bring it any further down because the collar of the bodysuit should cover all that. Yeah, that was some optimistic thinking. And I didn't shade any of the little divots in the sculpt of the brow because it was a little more monster than I would want for the character. I'm gonna go in with some of the white skin illustrator and I'm gonna spatter some white freckles across the cheeks. I'm also gonna go in with a brush and make some brighter, darker freckles. Brighter, darker. Pronounced, pronounced is the word I was looking for at the time. So now we're gonna go in with the tattoo markings, but I'm gonna go ahead and seal all the work we've done so far. I'm gonna be using Skin Illustrator Blue Marble Sealer. Add a little dimension to the nose using some black and white for highlights and shadows. For the tattoo markings, I'm gonna be using Skin Illustrator Aged Black in the Tattoo Classic Collection. And let's hope I don't mess it up too much. Just going off the references. Okay, you don't need to look at that. Here I am with a bunch of references. Thinking, oh, well, the shell's blocking the forehead. I'm just gonna make it up. It was only after I washed the makeup off, I saw it. The reference that shows the forehead. Whoops. Airbrushed a little mint julep over the markings because they got a little darker than I wanted. Added black mascara to the upper lashes. There it is. The realization that I did not bring the color down far enough. Added the neck tattoo on the suit, hands painted, and some contact lenses. This is actually the second time that I have used this brow for an aquatic character. Check out the mermaid siren look to see the versatility that this prosthetic has. I'll see you there.